sounds nice. like that before but it wasn't stars for me though it was lights when i first woke up after being rescued from the ice i could see clusters of stars in front of me i reached out for them automatically but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights the whole crew was watching me it was pretty embarrassing I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A <laughs> way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. <laughs> but I'm thirsty now. Uh, nice. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Those millennia. Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. 
Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly! Star rail stability is down to 12%! Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urielo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. We've got to get busy! I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Urelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Ever since the destruction sowed Stellarons across the universe, many worlds have changed. Nanook, the destruction, Yausha, the abundance, Terminus, the finality. I've seen and learned a lot in my time, but I still struggle to understand some of the Eon's actions. Each stop brings its own grand and exciting adventure. <sighs> no. Pom Pom can't leave the train right now. Oh, Pom Pom's so dejected all of a sudden.
Thanks to a brilliant performance, you guys saved the space station from a moment of crisis. Now, the Express is relying on you to get it moving again. Remember, there are four things we do when we arrive at a new world. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. And I'm sure you'll get along really well with Marge and Dan Hung. A planet covered in snow and ice. Will I find my answer here? Whoa! <sighs> Don't sneak up on me like that. Why are you still here? Go find Don Hung. Exciting adventures are waiting for us. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought, a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron. And now you. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6, we're here. Ah, it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Ah, snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what are we 
you waiting for? Let's go! Me neither. If only we had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the Express. Do you remember what you did to our last snowmobile? <laughs> anyway, moving on! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body, I have my special six-phased ice powers, and Don Hung... Uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. This place still hasn't been corroded, yet Fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Time for the main event. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! This is our chance. What about this? Clemency? Never. Time for the main event. Keep up! My tempo! My turn! Watch this! this Ready is our to chance. lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Pretty good. <laughs>
Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's rock! Let's go. Better up! Breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Uh, is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a Silvermane guard. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Me? You guys scared me to death! There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over! I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit! Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. 
there's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? We haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would go... But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Mane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just <laughs> care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. It's now or never! Over to you, dear friends! Hey, where do you think you're- Time for the main event. Turn up the volume! You have to watch this! Clemency? Never heard of it. This song's just for you. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's run! My turn. <laughs> Better up! Step aside. I don't. <laughs> Jepard Landau, captain of the Silver Mane Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo okay. cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Ready to lose yourself? Suspect. My relinquish your run. resistance. My music. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. The truth of life and death revealed in this sanctuary. It's but a vision! Uh, rules are made to be broken! You have stage your welcome! Move carefully. I told you I could fight. <sighs> Let's make it quick. I'm suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. 
Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects, not now. Take them away. But we're not from Bellabog! Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one! Behold, Yarilo 6! You mean to say that this... white ball? That's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. <laughs> 